Chris Kalabukas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking technology, philosophy, the future. Not necessarily those, and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button, hit that bell so you can be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, on our sister publication, AIDaily.us, where we look at interesting AI news for the curious mind. There was a really interesting article talking about something that a lot of people are afraid is emerging. And that f- term that they use, it was a great term, by the way, that they came up with it. It's called deep doubt. And the definition of deep doubt is literally not believing anything that you see, anything that you hear, anything that you read on the internet. And these authors who, I don't know if they coined the term or they were talking about the term, said that it was a horrible thing. It was absolutely awful that we are now entering a day and age where people are suffering from deep doubt. And I think they were talking about specifically conspiracy theories, right? And there was, they were bemoaning the fact that there was all these conspiracy theories out there. Well, at least what they felt to be conspiracy theories out there about sort of the general range of what you would expect a conspiracy theory is. Now, I'm not going to talk about those specific conspiracy theories on this show, because if I do, who knows what will happen? I could mention any one of a number of what some people might think are conspiracy theories. And if I just happen to trigger the wrong keyword, then boom, who knows what might happen to my show. And I don't want that to happen. I want you guys to enjoy more Think Future from now on till forever, till I can create an avatar to replace me so you will get more Think Future into the far, far future. So they were bemoaning that people were believing some things that they thought were conspiracy theories and they were entering this era of deep doubt. And I thought to myself, truly, in this day and age, when we have AI deep fakes, and we have the ability to emulate individuals at will. We can create all sorts of public figures doing all sorts of things and make those images and videos so realistic that you cannot tell the difference between reality and AI. Why not? What is wrong with having this level of deep doubt when the reality is is that no one can believe some How can you believe, how can you possibly believe that something has actually happened unless you view it with your very own eyes? If you see something on this interface, and as I've said multiple times before, this is currently our interface to the world. This is how we interface to the world. We interface, we rarely interface face to face anymore in person, in physical person. We're doing it over this. No wonder people are falling into a state of deep doubt. But here's the problem, is that we should be in a state of deep doubt. We should be in a state of deep doubt even prior to this. Because if you ask me, we need to question everything. And that's what my favorite philosopher, Socrates, he was was the question guy. That's all he ever did was ask questions. He asked probing questions to get to the bottom of a matter and what people thought, why they thought that way. In fact, there's a little picture of him right behind me there. Let's see. I can't do this. I'm, I'm reversed. So Socrates was, it was a gadfly. He, he went around bugging all sorts of people. And all he ever did, he asked, asked a lot of questions. If you read any of the dialogues, it's rife with questions. And the reason why he was asking these questions was to get to the bottom of the matter, whatever it was that was being discussed. 
And we have gone through a period of time when people are being told not to question things. Don't question this. Don't question that. This is settled science. Like I've mentioned before, science doesn't work that way. Science can be upended at any moment with new science. So there's no real such thing as settled science. Just like there's really no such thing as anything unless you physically see it or hear it in person. If you experience something in person, physically, that is the only time you can be 100% sure that this thing is true. And if you don't experience it physically like they used to do in ancient Greece and in almost all times prior to the internet, prior to the technology getting to the point where we would actually fake reality, we should be asking those questions. We should be taking nothing at face value. We should be, remember when people used to say question authority? Well, I go beyond that. I think we are living in an era of deep doubt, and we've lived in an era of deep doubt for a really long time, and the only way to get out of this deep doubt is to question. We need to continue to question everything, everything that comes across these screens. We need to question it and go, is this real? And deep doubt is not a bad thing. Deep doubt is a good thing because it allows us to, to understand that everything that we see in on these devices, because that's how you're watching me, you're watching me or hearing me on a device. That's the only way to know if something is real or not. So ask questions, question everything. Don't just question authority, question everything. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future. Pixels and philosophies merge and mold A future untold, unseen